Hey guys, it's Skier, and I don't say this very often. I mean, I do, but like I don't, but this, this is something. So Frames Plus, a lot of you guys have been asking for it, but you've been like, why do I have to pay $15, right? But now there's a free version. So if we type Frames Plus, we are now on Frames Plus Lite, which has some of the features, but not all the features of the premium version. So let's go through all of the features one by one. Post editing skier here to tell you that the way Frames Plus Lite works is once your trial for premium runs out, if you keep the mod in your mods holder, it will automatically activate light. You just need to download the latest version, build 16 and up, have the capability to turn into light. Let's get on with the rest of the video. The first feature that we have here is disabled GL error checking. This is just a little thing you can turn on and off. It just means that each frame where um, the game either chooses to check for errors or doesn't. I mean, it doesn't actually do anything. If it finds the errors, it doesn't do anything different. It just kind of spams your console or chat with errors. So like you don't actually need that. The next thing is font render or caching. So we actually changed the wording here because the overall font render within the game is completely rewritten, but we also added an option to cache um, certain things on top of that for even faster performance. So maybe you have that option as well. You have enhanced particle handling, which will make it so the game runs much smoother when you have thousands of particles and needs to update all of them and move them around and do all that kind of stuff. The game will run much smoother. You can disable particle lighting because checking for the lighting states for particles is very resource intensive. So we went ahead and added an option to remove that and it just does the max brightness. And since most players have their gamma max anyway, they won't even notice a difference here. You have particle culling. Particle culling um, means that it checks if a particle is inside your view before trying to render it. So like right now I can kind of see from like this side to this side here, right? So it checks if a particle was in view before it actually does all the computational intensive processes of rendering it. We have hiding shadow text just because uh, shadow text has to render text twice and because text rendering, uh, although we made it much more efficient, it's still pretty resource intensive. That should give you a little bit extra FPS. And then you have an option to disable lighting, which is essentially Fulbright. It doesn't do any of the calculations needed to check for lighting states or anything like that. Now, going on behind the scenes, we have, a, we have many more settings that cannot be toggled. They're just completely on settings. They just fix certain bugs and bad behaviors and bad coding on Mojang's part within the game. Let's say you like the FPS boost and frames plus light you want even more. You can go ahead and click here and purchase frames plus premium. Now we're going to go through and walk through that process here. So it brings you to the website store. You type in your IGN, you come down here, you select which one you want. You can get the cape, which can be configured on the website, or you can buy an upfront or a lifetime package. I, I recommend buying the lifetime package. You enter your email. As for me, it's this skier at skier.club. That's my email. Uh, and then you go over here and you have to enter your payment information. Okay. So now you've just bought it. And it's in, you, you go to the screen and it tells you like, hey, you may need to wait. Now you need to go to your email. So here we're going to bring my email onto here. And we're just going to go to the email from Skier LLC here. And we're going to click on it. Boop. It takes you to the special link here. And it gives you the direct download for either version. And it also gives you the key. So this is the actual license key here. You copy it to your clipboard by hitting Control C. Or if you're on a Mac, you hit uh, Command C. And you come down here, you can close all these and you click in the top left here and you click paste license key here. Boop. And it says, whoop, updated license successfully. Please restart your game. And that's like, okay, sick. Like you entered a valid license, you were all ready to go. And then what you need to do is you need to close your game here. Okay, so we're back at our island. We can type slash frames plus here. And now you can see we have tons more settings. So we have an enhanced item renderer, which just speeds up item rendering, similar to how the font renderer cache goes, similar to that. Um, we also have some things for constant fog color because uh, calculating fog color is fairly resource intensive and you can just set the fog color. Uh, we actually generated a function that's identical to Minecraft's, but it has much, much uh, less uh, resource intensive. You have a lower animation tick, which just like reduces some animations, uh, lowers the world particle count. There you go. Um, and then you have async texture updating which allows you to um, update textures for Minecraft on a separate thread. So while the game is doing some things, it's also doing other things at the same time. So it doesn't need to do one or the other, it can do both at the same time. And we also have the setting for disabling lighting. And then also in Frames Plus Premium, uh, there's a few more settings behind the scenes, just like in light, that cannot be turned on nor off, but they are just always on and do increase FPS. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Frames Plus. Build 16. We also uh, fixed a bunch of the bugs and things like that um, in this build. So, yeah, you should you should very download it and uh, consider buying it because it really does help us over here at Skier LLC. Thank you and have a great day.